I wanted to share a quick tip on how to better use Linkless and Expresso to optimize your workflow. This can be used in many, many different ways, but for this demo, I'm going to show you how to use it with a cloner object. You'll notice in my object manager, I have a cloner, an empty null named Linkless, and a null uh, called List Items, which is just a reference object that I'm throwing in some things into it. Uh, the first thing I did was go into manage the data. Okay. I then created two data points. The first one, which is very important, has to be in slash exclusion. The second one has to be integer. This is already kind of pre-set up here. Then I added an expresso tag uh, to our link list, which you can shift C and search for it. And then now with my expresso uh, window docked, or if it's not docked, you can do so just by double clicking on it and then going in and docking it in place. We then drag over the reference object, the link list, which has our user data points already in it. We're going to just add those in. We're going to add in a link list. And normally uh, with a link list, you would have to manually drag the items in. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We kind of want to optimize this. Well, you say uh, there's really no way to connect user data to a link list node. Well, if you go ahead and drag uh, from the cogwheel onto your Espresso window, it's going to create a duplicate of it, which is now an object manageable um, node. So we can pipe that in. So what we do is we pipe in link list into here, right? So it's going to be under node properties, link list. Then we're going to pipe in our other user data point into index. Then what we want to do is we want to add a uh, instance object. So you just shift C. We're going to make that a child of the cloner. We're going to drag that into here. Kind of like put that down here. We're going to now want to grab a result node, which you can search for in Expresso. We're going to need to add a empty uh, object, which again, we can just go ahead and drag link list. The null we made. We're now going to output um, our, oh, sorry, from here, we're going to output that into a object property, which you can also search for. All right. And now we're going to go from name, which you can search for here. And pipe that into result. Now what we do is we connect this link into the reference object of the instance, which should be right here, object properties. And so the magic with this system is what it's doing is it's saying this link list, which you normally would drag into here, is now getting its list items from our manage user data, um, which is you know on this null right here. And you can see in our cloner, it's red because there's nothing being referenced currently. But what we can do is if we throw in our items into here, you can kind of already see this happening on the screen. What it's doing is it's saying this cloner instance, which is this guy here, is getting its reference from our link list based on our user data. And you can even now close out our Espresso window. All right. And you can go into your user data and go ahead and just run through the items. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, hide these. And obviously there's only four. So anything above the four isn't going to really, uh, you know, it's going to repeat the fourth one. And so the way a, any sort of mathematical list works in programming, everything starts at zero. So zero is really one and so on. So zero, one, two, three. Um, and you can 
can go ahead and individually scale these cubes. And the beauty of this is now this is a very manageable system for working with linked lists without having to go into Expresso. But so like, let's say you wanted to use a link list to uh, connect a bunch of cameras together and a camera morph, you could do that very programmatically, um, which I'm gonna demo in, in a later tutorial. Or if you wanted to offset positions of these items in the link list, you could do that as well. Um, but the real magic of this whole quick tip is the fact that you can now, uh, it's been there for a while, a little known fact though, but you can easily go ahead and when you make a link list, you can drag that off and create it so that way it is now connectable to object nodes, which is huge and it's a very cool time saver. So hopefully this helps you out and you can use it on projects of your own.